Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I want to show you how to, uh, I have already showed you how to add the root bones and import properly animations with root motion from Mixamo to Unreal. And so with that newly added function, newly added, uh, newly learned thing, I'm going to revamp or add new uh, set of animations to my combat system so here is the demonstration these are the newly added animations that you can see As you can see, these characters have the root motion enabled animations. <laughs> Let's wait until they perform some attacks. I'll attack them if they don't attack. Okay, so those are the demonstration and let's see how to implement them. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. That means a lot to me. Alright, so first make sure that you have selected one of uh, these default uh, characters. I am going to select this one. Uh, because uh, if you select if you have uploaded your rootbone added character to here then you can't use it to convert uh, from uh, an add root motion again because if you have uploaded it here then it will already have the rootbone and when you try to add again and convert motion to the root uh, and there will be multiple root bones and you will have problems when you import them again back to Unreal. So make sure that you have selected this character or any other character that you prefer. Right and after that I am going to you download some sword animations. I want to use this one this jump attack this one and also some other sword attacks like uh, this one and this one because all of them have root motions and I'm not going to download this one because it is a one-handed sword and also not that yeah, I think that would be enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all with throat motion. Okay, the, those are the all one-handed sword throat motion animations. Right, now after downloading them, I have already downloaded them and go back to Blender and disable this uses it and transfer location rotation because I don't need to transfer rotation and Transfer is it to the root bone So press advanced option and use use X and use Y so that only the horizontal movement will be transformed to the transferred to the root bone and give the hip name as hips and keep the settings like this and this is my input folder and this is my output folder the converted one and after that 
press batch convert so all the animations will be converted and added the root bone and after that you have to import them into unreal so here i have created this attack rm the a new folder and i can import these converted materials uh, converted animations here import animations and use animated type and here i don't have to import mesh and select night rm and import all right now i got these animations all of them and make sure that you have enabled uh, root motion and use the root motion root lock as the first frame right and then i need to there are some yeah i need to create the animation montages in order to add them as uh, attack montages into my combat system so i'll show one of my attack montages to remember remind that the notifiers i need to add this is one of them and here we have three or four yeah we have four animation notifiers the first one is disable movement and then at the end i enable movement so these are for when I perform in the attack, my input buttons should not affect the character's movement. So for that, I am using these notifiers. I have talked about them in previous videos. So if you are not sure, you can refer to them. And also this slowdown. So this is for what happens here is I slow down the speed of this attack so that the player this applies only for the enemy characters so that the player will have some time to react so he can decide whether to dodge or whether to evade or whether to block and perform accordingly and this check hit this is where I check uh, whether I have actually hit the opponent and this swoosh is just a sound the swoosh sound of the weapon and the attack move this is just to move my character towards the opponent while performing the attack and I don't need this one anymore because I already have the moment with the root motion enabled animations so for this new animation I don't think I have to use the attack move all right so I'll create one animation montage and show how to add these events notifiers here i should uh, disable movement and at the end i have to re-enable movement all right and then I have to add the swoosh sound here okay and check hit somewhere here all right so that's all and yeah I need to slow down somewhere here okay so that's all so in the same way i'll create animation montages for these other animations as well i'll do it off the screen so that i can save the time so here i have only two attacks under regular attacks so i'll make them four and drag and drop this one and this one 
this is for demonstration purposes and this one and this all right compile and in my human character so previously I had enabled up to two because I had only only two animations here now I have added another node uh, another pin up to three so that I have in total four pins so that all of these animations will be called okay now let's check how it works Okay, he's dead. As you can see, the root motion is working perfectly. And when the character is too near, uh, and when the um, character can't move forward anymore uh, it wouldn't have the motion but that's a good thing when the character is away it will have the root motion all right so yeah that's all i want to do for today yeah root motion is working perfectly all right and i will put the updated source code into my patreon page uh, feel free to check that out and if you like to support my work you can join my patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as i have explained here okay and in the future episodes i will continue to improve my combat system with newly imported animations with root motion and everything and also i want to add some effects for the combat as well and also some camera movements okay see you in the next episode goodbye